the old uh, textile mills in Lowell and Lawrence, Massachusetts, and actually all over New England are just great material for, for night photography. The, the shapes of the, the building, the architecture, the smokestacks, combined with the dramatic sky and clouds moving overhead and star trails, for me is, is just some of the best material there is. I've been in a sort of a race with the developers on these old mills, textile mills in New England for the last couple of years uh, as I try to find ones that haven't been renovated or converted into lofts and condos yet. I've always looked for places that seem just out of the ordinary, uh, industrial sites with big, monstrous, smelly, dirty machines. In the early 1990s, um, I did a series of color night photographs that I called the Untitled Alien Landscapes. They were, they were shot at a, a port of Stockton in California. There were these towers and big heavy equipment and all kinds of machines that were just really alien to everyday existence. When I photograph at night in the natural environment, I also look for similar situations like the uh, the tufa formations here at Mono Lake, or the the granite boulder moonscapes on uh, Tioga Pass in Yosemite. I went out there at about 11 o'clock and I had something there very definitely in mind to photograph. And I, I really love that place. It's, a, it's like a Hollywood studio with different levels and different lighting circumstances. And I had something completely different in mind. I got out there and it was just a, the fog was on the ground and it was a fierce wind. And I had my dog, Keith, with me and she was like 15 and I took her blanket along with me so she could keep warm, you know, because we were by the ocean. and. Uh, then got out there and what I was going to photograph would not work at all and so I, I thought well why I'm going to stand there and hold this blanket in you know in front of my camera that was one of the first images I ever stood in myself to me that image uh, represents the universality of all things more than anything I've ever seen I was uh, I was the same as the fog the water was the same as the fog we were all this hazy mist The best kind of junkyards for me are the airliner junkyards out in the Mojave Desert. They're the most evocative places for me to go shooting. I love the fact that at one time these airliners were the ultimate in technology. And now they're all just chopped up and rotting and bleeding hydraulic fluid onto the sand. Nobody notices, nobody cares. I do think that uh, 
uh, night photography will always stay fresher and newer than day photography, no matter uh, you know what, because of the surreal aspects of it.